Welcome to the most beautiful airport in the world, Changi Airport in Singapore. Today, we are going to discuss everything you need to know before visiting this amazing airport. Hey guys, welcome back to Sakri Cubes and this is Sagar. When we travel to other countries, the first thing that we want to do is to get out of airport as quickly as possible. However, in Singapore, it's quite the opposite. People often plan to spend at least 6 hours at the airport itself. Some travelers even choose long layovers at Singapore just to explore this airport. While most YouTube videos focus only on jewel and rain vortex, there are so many things you should know before visiting Singapore. To make it easy to understand, I have divided this video into 8 sections, each covering detailed information that will be helpful to plan your trip to Singapore. Let's dive deep into our list of 8 things to know before visiting Changi Airport in Singapore. Singapore Airport is called Changi Airport. It has been declared the best airport in the world not just once but 12 times in the past 23 years. Changi Airport has exceptional global connectivity, serving as a hub for over 100 airlines operating flights to 400 different cities worldwide. When you step into Changi Airport, at first, it looks less like a traditional airport and more like a high-end shopping mall. The idea behind building such a futuristic airport was to offer a luxurious travel experience that reflects what Singapore is all about. Changi Airport has so much to offer that you can easily spend half a day to full day here without ever feeling bored. Given that Changi Airport is huge, let's look into its layout to understand it better. There are four terminals at Changi Airport. Terminals 1, 2 and 3 are interconnected, while Terminal 4 is situated a bit far and is used by budget airlines. If you are travelling to or from India, you are likely to use one of the first three terminals. You can walk between terminals 1, 2 and 3 either on foot or you can use a SkyTrain free of cost. The SkyTrain passes through Jewel offering stunning views of the rain vortex. The train intentionally slows down near the waterfalls allowing travellers to enjoy the scenic beauty. Take the train from terminal 2 to terminal 3 to get the best view of the rain vortex. The airport has two main parts, the public area also called the land side and the transit area also called the air side. Understanding difference between the two is important because the attractions, shops and restaurants are distributed between these two areas. The public area is accessible once you are officially in Singapore. For example, if you are travelling from India, you can enter the public area only after completing the immigration process. You can also visit the airport at any time during your stay in Singapore and access the public area without requiring a flight ticket. On the other hand, the transit area works the opposite way. You must have a flight ticket to enter the transit area. In April 2019, Changi opened the next level lifestyle hub for the airport called the Jewel. It took 4 years and 1.3 billion dollars to build this iconic place. In short, Jewel is a fancy mall attached to the airport. The main attraction at Jewel is the 130 feet tall, world's tallest indoor waterfalls called the HSBC Rain Vertex. Jewel has a total of 10 floors, 5 below ground and 5 above. Each level offers a unique view of the Rain Vertex. Make sure to visit basement level 2 to get a completely different perspective of the waterfalls. During evening, this waterfall comes alive with an incredible light and sound show. Singapore is known as a garden city and keeping up with that theme, Changi Airport has created an indoor forest known as Shishido Forest Valley. In case you are wondering, Shishido is a Japanese cosmetic company that has acquired naming rights for this area in partnership with Changi Airport. This indoor garden houses plants from different parts of the world with more than 900 trees and palms Along with it, there are more than 60,000 shrubs in this area. While visiting the HSBC Rain Vertex and the Shishido Forest Valley is free, major attractions at Jewel require you to purchase a ticket. We bought the Changi Airport 3 attraction pass which granted us access to Mastercard Canopy Bridge, Mirror Maze and the Walking Net. This pass also included a complimentary admission to Canopy Park. Don't buy the ticket at the airport, instead buy them on Kluk. It will save you a lot of money. For example, here is the price comparison of 4 activities that we did. Since we bought the bundle package on Kluk, we saved more than 1200 rupees. 
Not just that, since Kluke is celebrating its 9th anniversary, you can get 10% as additional discount by using the coupon code shown on the screen. The offer is valid only between 8th September to 22nd September, so grab the deal as soon as possible. I'll provide the links to this activity and all the other activities in the description box below. The first activity we did was the Mastercard Canopy Bridge. It is a glass bridge suspended 70 feet above ground offering spectacular views of the rain vortex. The central section of the bridge is made of glass which might seem scary at first but it's not. The best part about Canopy Bridge was that it had no crowds. We could take photos and videos without getting photobombed by other tourists. After this, we moved to Mirror Maze which turned out to be a super fun activity. If you are travelling with kids, they are going to love this activity for sure. Yet another thrilling activity was the walking net. It hangs 80 feet above the ground and it is a lot scarier than the glass bridge that we saw before. This is actually a walking net so you are not allowed to jump or run around. If you are looking for a fun experience, you can try the bouncing net instead. The last activity was the canopy park. There are multiple activities inside canopy park like the discovery slide, petal garden, topiary walk and the foggy bowl. The canopy park was so beautiful that at one point we forgot that we were in an airport. There was a secret place from where we could get an amazing view of the waterfall with no crowd at all. Don't miss this spot, it's right opposite to the petal garden. There are a few more attractions at Jewel like the hedge maze, bouncing net, Changi experience studio and Jewel Rustic quest. Unfortunately, we couldn't try them all due to time constraints. You can check it out if you're interested. Apart from the activities at Jewel, there are quite a few attractions in the other terminals as well. Terminal 1 has Cactus Garden and Discovery Garden. Terminal 2 has Sunflower Garden. Terminal 3 has a Butterfly Garden and a Slide. Terminal 4 has a Heritage Zone and Entertainment Corner. There is also a free movie theater where you can watch the movie screening while waiting for your next flight. The movie theater will be open 24 hours and it is located inside Terminal 3. If you are looking for a more relaxed experience, then you can visit the swimming pool located in the transit area of Terminal 1. Here is a list of attractions, their locations, timings and most importantly whether they are located on public area or transit area. There are endless options for dining and shopping options as well. To encourage travelers to explore Jewel and other attractions, Changi offers a free facility called Early Check-in. With this facility, you can drop your checked-in luggage up to 24 hours before the flight. That's why it's a great idea to visit attractions at Changi Airport when you're leaving Singapore rather than upon your arrival. You have two options for dropping off your checked-in luggage. You can either do it at the terminal from where your flight is scheduled to depart or you can drop it off at the jewel on level 1. Dropping the luggages at the jewel is a great idea as it saves a lot of time. However, there are two requirements to drop the luggages at the jewel. You need to have a minimum 3 hour gap for the flight departure and your airline should offer this service. You can deposit the cabin baggage and other small luggages at the storage facility or carry them along with you. The storage facility is quite expensive hence I don't recommend it. We saw a lot of people roaming in the jewel with their baggages, so we did the same. As for the attractions, you can leave your luggages at the entrance gate and enjoy your activities without any hassle. Changi offers a 2 and a half hour free city tour from the airport. There are 4 different tours that are offered. The city side tour and heritage tour are totally worth it. While the Changi Precinct Tour and the Jewel Tour may not be as interesting, to join any of these tours, you must meet 5 criteria. You must be travelling from one country to another country and you should have a layover at Singapore Airport. You can't take this tour if your source or destination is Singapore. Your layover duration should be minimum 5.5 and, hour and it should not exceed 24 hours. Since the tours have fixed departure times, your reporting time and flight departure time must align with the two requirements. You must have a valid Singapore visa or you should be eligible for visa free transit facility. You need to pre-book the tour. Since these tours are in high demand, it is difficult to get the desired slot that easily. 
these slots open up to 60 days in advance so it's a good idea to book the tours as soon as possible if you have any questions please visit the official changi airport website for more information on this service here are some pro tips download the changi app to access all the airport related informations on your fingertips understand the difference between the public area and transit area if you have plans to explore jewel on your return day make sure to visit it before going for security and immigration there are free to use rest areas called snooze lounge in all the terminals you can use this area to take a nap if you are waiting for long hours for your next flight changi airport is quite large and attractive so it is easy to lose track of time always keep an eye on the departure time and allocate enough buffer time to reach your terminal set aside at least 4 to 6 hours to explore the airport one common mistake that people make is assuming waterfall would be running 24 bar 7 but it's not the jewel itself is open 24 hours but the waterfall flows only during specific time of the day even most of the paid attraction have timings so make sure to check the timings before booking any attractions try to book the flight that departs after 3 pm so that you will have sufficient time to explore all the attractions before catching your flight that was everything you needed to know before visiting Changi Airport in Singapore. Feel free to ask if you have any questions. If you have already visited Changi Airport, what was your favorite attraction? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit on the like button if this video was helpful for you and subscribe to Sakrai Cubes if you haven't already. Click on the right to watch all the videos of Singapore series or click on the left to watch the best places to visit in Singapore. I will see you in any of those videos. Until then, keep traveling.